broadcasting from the center of the universe and the Thrive15.com World Headquarters. Let's go! Presenting the world's only business school without the BS with optometrist and entrepreneur Dr. Robert Selner and the Forest Ball Business Administration Entrepreneur of the Year in your ear, Clay Clark. It's the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Three, two, one. Oh, it is a Thursday, and we want to get into it in the worst way. And I am joined here with your sensei, the doctor of business. It's Dr. Robert Zellner. Sir, how are you? Oh, you snatched pebble from my hand, young grasshopper. The circle. The circle. The circle continued on down. Hey, it's still Happy New Year. It is. It's the first week of the new year and i'm so excited you know why why because somebody listening out there is going to put into action all this stuff we're telling them on the radio or on the thrivetimeshow.com podcast right and they're actually going to put it into action and they're going to get some satisfaction because they're going to start thrive actioning yes now, z i will tell you not only are we inventing words today yes we're helping people start businesses and i have three <laughs> drop the mic moments that have just happened three okay well you got three mics then well well you've got four mics we have okay. some great guests here we have That's jonathan right, kelly jonathan kelly our search engine and advertising JK. expert on the show and we have mr will rolator there with his incredible company here's 24 7 disaster group he's in the house how are you sir i'm doing great thanks for having me clay now here's the drop here's the drop the mic moments we have okay, here this all right week. here we go we've got one guy down in dallas okay and okay. where he's he's a drone pilot uh thomas if you're listening how you doing buddy this guy is now doing consistently about two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars a week of business okay he flies all the flights and it's the winter if you're not, uh, if, if you're new to this country, it's the winter right now. If you're new to the, to this climate, <laughs> to the northern hemisphere, yeah. And so that means if he's doing real estate drone videos and he's doing that much in the winter, when he gets into the spring, it's going to be ten times as busy. So he's ready to do this thing full time. It's exciting. We have another guy, um, Michaelo. Uh, he's here from New York. He flew in this week. He's going to be here all week. His business is booming out there in New York. Oh, I can hardly wait to see him. I haven't seen him in a while. Upper State, New York. Sharita's yeah. picking him up at the airport, I believe. And we have one more Thriver. I talked to him today. It's it's a Property Management, Inc. He was one of our guests on our show. And uh, Sean's business is blowing up. He's just blowing up. And it's all stuff learning. I hope in a right good here. way. Because we have a disaster relief guy here. you know. So I hope it's not like blowing up. We need to send Will over to his place right, like right now. Okay, now speaking of blowing up in a not good way, Z, uh -oh. because we're, that's why we have these two special guests here today. This is the time of the year, guys, where you have to keep your, your, your water dripping when you leave the house. This is a tip. <laughs> and Z, this is not the Home and Garden Show. But it's, it's not because I was wondering when to plant my tulips. Now, I mean, I, is, it, is it time yet? See, do you Does anybody know? I mean, is this Another not commercial that? break, I really want to know more okay, about your yeah. daisy strategy. Okay, yes. okay but no, seriously. Um, John... Can you explain what, what you're just Jonathan Kelly? He's our in house Thrive 15 and Make Your Life Epic advertising search engine optimization expert. So if you fill out a form at info at thrive15.com, he heads up the team of people that advise you how to optimize your website. Uh, John, can you explain what is going on right now at the Kelly House? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun thing. Um, so I bought a house, first house. First house. By Congratulations. The Welcome Thank to Homeownership. Yeah, wow. You would think that. Um, so I bought a house um, the day before Christmas. Okay. okay. So uh, the, the actually, oh, it's it, a Christmas it miracle. The eve, the eve of Christmas <laughs> Eve, uh, moved into said house. Nice. And, uh, super excited about it. Me and my wife uh, move in. Uh, a certain it's it's beautiful, beautiful image. Quality. It's a nice time. You, you put know, up a tree, a, tr a tree, a tree. We did not put up a, a tree or, or tree. <laughs> okay. um, but no crease. What we did do is we moved in. And we got all settled. Here we go. This we're is exciting. Three days into it. Yeah. Oh we, yeah. Uh, we uh, find out that our pipes are actually our sewer line is collapsed. Oh, oh. disaster! Now, real <laughs> quick. Disaster. Now, this hints. This hints that we you know we have the expert here. This is twenty four seven disaster group. So, should you find yourself in a neighborhood? And it don't look good. Who are you going to call? You're going to call 24/7 Disaster Group. And and what we said since it's just been a week or so since he's passed, whenever we can get Careless Whisper in the show. Oh wow! So, so, so J.K., you're home. You just moved into your new home. You're hitting on your wife. You got your you yeah. and your lovely missus. Hey, you nice. don't have up your tree, but you've got a lot of holiday spirit in the house. Oh, yeah. And you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, what's that uh, that noise in the background? Is that uh, is that, is that careless whisper? Play? Is that old Saint Nick, or, or is that the pipes broken and water's running through the house? It's even better than that, though. 
is like Careless Whisper. When you put it on, you want a little, you know, a bearskin rug, probably. Yeah. Yeah. You know? uh -huh. Yeah. And you want to put it on a fireplace, right? Right. You know, oh, yeah. Turn the heat up. Oh, you yeah. want to turn the heat up, yeah. Literally and figuratively. Heat's good. You would oh, want yeah, to turn the heat up. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Heat's good. Yeah. Heat's yeah. Good. yeah. This makes sense. So, so we're trying to turn the heat up and yeah. listen to Careless Whisper. Yeah. And um, the heat doesn't work. Holy cow. Oh, Holy cow. that came wow. in hot. That came in hot. We yeah. got buttons working today, folks. <laughs> So, so, so just re uh, recap. Recap, recap. So you move in on, on the in. Eve, on in. Eve of Christmas. Eve of Christmas Eve. Okay, nice. Yeah. Festivus. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Festivus. And uh, find out that our uh, our sewer lines are collapsed. And uh, OMG, uh, God bless him. Uh, oh, oh, to... OMG? OMG? Uh, no, 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 in, I think. In. Oh, in. oh, 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 uh, you know, luckily we had. Uh, well, we we didn't have water. Oh no! Okay. But if we were to have water, our uh, water heater was electric, and that worked. So if you're listening right now and you're having your pipes or explode, you're having fires, you're having water damage, what you got to do is you got to either get scared, get worried, and climb under a bed, or you have to pick up the phone and call Will Rollator. Will, what should somebody do if this if this predicament is hitting them this season? Because we have we have new freezing freezing weather happening, snow, these kinds of things. It's the wintry weather time of the year. What should we do if they find themselves with these kind of scenarios? Call twenty four seven disaster group. Any kind of frozen pipe, any sewage backup. If your furnace isn't working, we can usually find out why. Mm. Send the right people to get that fixed. Call us nine one eight seven seven nine forty nine hundred. Okay, again, what's that number? One more time. I was, I, was, I, was, I was just digest. I was trying to eat some my Oklahoma Joes, and I got distracted. I was trying to, fix, I was trying to do the, the burnt ends and the, the beans combo in my mouth at the same time. I'm sorry I missed that phone number. <laughs> that is 918-779-4900, disaster group. Now, Z, back to the business doctor here. I want to ask you this. Yes, if you're sure, a business yes, owner and you're coming to work, we're going to get into today's topic, which is how to differentiate your business in a crowded marketplace. Okay, we're going to get into that. But before we do, this is the real talk. This is the stuff that happens behind the stuff, right? If you're a business owner, it doesn't mean that you're going to be free of disasters at home. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. So hypothetically, let's say that you're a marketing expert okay. responsible for helping thousands of people all over the world optimize their websites, and your name is John Kelly. How do you? How have you throughout your career? How do you? How have you handled the the personal stress of situations such as this, and then also be able to do the whole you know get to work and, and be successful at the office? Because because some, some people have meltdowns when their personal life melts down, their business melts down. Well, here's what I do. I, I this is my move. Okay, here we it go. It may not be the move for everybody, but what I do is I find a in this case a dry corner of the house. Okay. And I go over there and I get in the fetal position and I just suck my thumb and cry. And then it all gets better. I did that. that sounds <laughs> no, encouraging. <laughs> no, what you, no, no, no. What you do is, first of all, once the shock of it is kind of worn off, you're like, this did not happen. Yeah. You know, you're just like, uh, oh, it's just a shock and awe of it. You know, shock and awe hits. Shock and Then you take a deep breath and you just break it down like you do a boss. See, what a boss does is you make big obstacles seem small. I like it when you finish my sentences. So that's what you have to do. It's a big obstacle and you have to make it seem small. small. So how do you do that? Well, what's step one? Well, in this case, step one is calling Will. You got to call Will. You got to call Will right now, and then you, then you, what you do is you, is you just you bite it up into bite-sized steps. You do step one, step two, step three, step four, and you just approach it like you do any big obstacle in your life. And, and get a little, little deeper. Let's say not for John's scenario. Let's just say there's other scenarios out there. Let's say you're an entrepreneur, okay, and you've got a, a, a personal issue going on, but it's going to require litigation, like an ongoing conversation. You can't close the loop for several weeks. How do you deal with those situations, my friend? Same thing. Fetal position, sucking thumb, just bawling. You <laughs> cry, you cry a lot. You get a lot of Kleenex uh, <clears throat> tissue or facial tissue, I should say. Yeah. No, you here again. It's a big obstacle. It's overwhelming if you think about the whole thing. And so you just break it down into, into, into steps. Okay, what's step one? Step one is get an attorney. You know, in that, in that scenario, get an attorney. Step two is to meet with him. Step three is to get all your paperwork together. Step four is to listen to what he's going to tell you. Step five is then to do what he's going to tell you. Step six is then to try to forget about it. Impossible, but try. You know, step six is <laughs> stay busy and, um, you know, just get through your life. And, and that's why one of my 
number one rules, or not not one of my number one. One of your one top, of ten, top rules. ten rules. Yeah, yeah. In business, I refer to as showtime. Showtime. There's a time you got to clean up that pig and go win your blue ribbon. And what that means is that hey, you got to knock the dirt off. You got to scrub it up. You got to you got to present yourself a certain way. You can't sit there with your next client, your next big salesperson, and go, "I'm being sued. I can't. Oh, I God. can't function." <laughs> oh, Billy. Hold oh, me, yeah. Billy. It's it's weird if, if if you know people walk in and you're holding Billy and I'm just crying. I'm like, Billy, I'm sorry. I would like to to do search engine optimization for you and help you with your marketing campaign and brainstorm some great ideas, but I can't. No, no you I, got it. You got to do Showtime. You got to shrug all that off and you got to say, what's the most important thing right now in my life? Now, Will, I want to ask you this because you've you've seen some some pipes are exploding all around Tulsa. The weather's dipping down. Crazy cold today. It's getting colder, getting colder, getting colder. Uh, walk me through. I mean, has this happened a few times already this season for you where you've, you, you've dealt with people with water damage? Is this, is this something that's happened to you this year? Oh, yeah. The week of Christmas, we were literally working around the clock, 24 hours a day. When uh, the temperature hits about zero, oh, yeah. all the pipes start to freeze. Everyone calls because they have no water, but the worst has not happened. Usually when the thaw, when it hits about 40 degrees, that's when the pipes are going to start letting loose in the house or and a, in the business. And a problem for somebody is a business for you. Do you Are you that's, actually happy about correct. this? Is that your deal? Are you excited when pipes burst? You're like, yes, yes. Are you giving so people we, reverse we tips? We do get excited. but <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we're excited I love your honesty, Will. We, we do, but we're excited because we really enjoy drying out buildings. It's fun. It's kind of a science and Okay, Take now Thrivers, skill. today we're talking about how to differentiate your business in the marketplace. And we're going to be picking John's brain on this a little bit here. But Z- wait, wait, time out, time yeah. out, time oh, out, yeah. time out, time out. Oh, yeah. We kind of skipped over something right there. Yeah, what did we skip over? Dry out of building. What, how do we, what, you, just, you just get the water from going. I mean, what do you do? You got to put heaters in there? I mean, what, Yeah, we're going to come in if there's no walk heat. Walk me through that. If the, okay, if there's no heat, we want to control. It's psychrometry, so we want to control. Psychrometry? Whoa, that's right. man, it's a big word. Did you study that NSU? That's a big word. I think I was sick. I think I was sick that day. I don't know. I don't. I think I missed that. Okay, so we're going to come in. We're going to we're going to extract any water that's standing, anything that's visible. Mm-hmm. All right. Then we're going to apply heat. We're going to bring in dehumidifiers. We're going to control the entire environment with air, heat, and dehumidification in order to dry out the structure. And and how quickly do you have to do that to keep the black mold from infecting my give me black lung disease? So anytime oh, you have wow. a water leak, you want to get on it immediately because it can create microbial problems. When it's cold out, it can, you know, you wait a few days, you're probably okay. In, in Oklahoma, when hot summer and humidity, mold can, can happen almost immediately. I don't know what it is, but whenever I hear the word microbial, whenever I hear that word, I hear this song. I mean, it sounds like a party. You're having a party there and helping dry out homes all over this oh, yeah. great Let's city. Go. A little, now, Will, little microby up. give me that phone number one more time in case I've been, I've been at Oklahoma Joe's. I've just been enjoying my lunch. I mean, honestly, I've tried to listen to what you're saying, but I had to run in there, get my burnt ends, get my baked beans. What's that phone number one more time? 918-779-4900. Now, when we come back, Thrivers, we're going to be talking We're going to be talking about a subject that Dr. Z is super pumped to talk about. I'm going to tell you why. Because there, there are many. I was checking on the phone book, and I'm the last guy in Oklahoma who has a phone book. But I'm looking in the phone book, <laughs> and I noticed there's more than two optometrists. There's more than three. Oh, wow. There's more than four. There's really? more than five. Yeah, there's actually dozens. Oh, my. And yet people seem to know your name. And I was thinking about it. Well, it's probably just luck. It's probably just, you know, wow, good it's genes. just kind of some random stuff. They start at the end and they work forward nowadays. What's the economy? The way it worked, you know, the economy was at an uptick when you were starting out. And yeah, it's just, you know, yeah. and then it's, you know, good year. very political. Yeah, very it's, po- it's, it's everything know, political. There's nothing you could do to control. Oh, wait, that. no, that's a different show. Oh. This, is, this isn't a political. Is this a political We're show? We're going to teach you how to differentiate your business in the marketplace, how to, stand, how to stand out, how to become that purple cow in your marketplace. Thrive Time Show. Stay tuned. This show is brought to you by Adobe Creative Cloud. If you're a photographer, graphic designer, video editor, podcaster, business owner, or just creative genius, this is for you. All of your creative tools, all in one place. Creative Cloud includes the entire collection of creative apps for desktop, from favorites like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, to new tools like Adobe Experience Design. Check this out. You can create podcasts seamlessly in high quality with Adobe Audition. Did you miss the exposure or looking to create a stunning and beautiful photo? You gotta download Lightroom. 
okay? The latest release of Adobe Creative Cloud is here with incredible new features in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and all of your favorite apps, plus millions of Adobe stock assets and new premium images are built right in. So you can turn your brightest ideas into your best work fast. Make sure that you check out Adobe Creative Cloud. It's at adobe.com. Once again, Adobe Creative Cloud at adobe.com. Live, local, now. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Tulsa, Oklahomies, and people of importance, welcome back to the, to the Thrive Time Show. This is your audio dojo of mojo, where every day we teach you how to start and grow a business faux show. We're broadcasting on the left coast, from the left coast of the Arkansas River, inside the box that rocks, deep within the Thrive15.com world headquarters, and to my right if you're on Facebook Live, to my left, we have Dr. Robert Zellner in the house today. Sir, how are you? I am fantastic. Happy New Year, Thrive Nation out there. And we've got a goal this year. We are going to eradicate business failure. True. You know, Forbes says 80% of all businesses that start up fail. Uh, and that is a number that's sticking in my craw. I mean, it's in my craw. Well, we have and I want it out of my craw. We have three people that we talked about in the first segment that we know that now have our starting successful companies as a result of their diligence combined with knowing what to do. Oh, whoa, 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 time out, time out, time out. Are you suggesting, are you suggesting, well, I'm sitting here eating my egg salad sandwich, enjoying my beverage of choice. Yeah. You know, thinking about the baked beans I missed out on at Oklahoma Joe's. Longing As I'm sitting the here doing that, are there. you telling me I actually have to take actions? I can't just listen and just absorb the knowledge and then just let it just percolate out of me? I've got a new phrase that I'm starting to say a lot and it's starting to get, I'm starting to kind of work through it mentally here. Yeah. yeah. Is it the, the, the path to success that okay. you and I teach people? Okay. The 13 point proven system. Yes. It is simple, but it requires diligence. Ah. And diligence huh. is that steady, application of effort and so go. we have a guy on the show who started out working in our uh, our, our search engine team and uh grinding away i mean literally and i'm not i'll let him tell the story but he's literally grinding away and it's not in the coal mine but it's kind of worse because you're it's in a small close. room and you're and you're typing we have jonathan kelly on the show today john how are you doing man uh, hey listen if I were doing any better, vitamins would be taking me. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Now, I love I, that. I want to ask this, John. Now, can you kind of explain to the Thrivers out there, we're talking about diligence here okay. as we transition into this concept of how to stand out in the marketplace. What time did you get to work every day to stand out in the office? Because a lot of people work for somebody else, right? And they want to stand out in the office. What time did you get to work every day for a long time before you're convinced that I knew your name? Uh, yeah, still not convinced that you know my name, but, uh, <laughs> Billy, we do too. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, you stop it. Uh, uh, 3 a.m. was what I was averaging. Uh, so I get here every day, 3 a.m. and, uh, start grinding out. So. Well, I get there by three, all right, but 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got to get my lunch in. I got to, you know, I get my up every morning. I got to get up every morning. Why did you start getting there that early? What was going on in your head? Uh, well, one, I, uh, I wanted to, uh, be part of this company. And, uh, so I was working two other jobs. And so I was, uh, I had to get here uh, to knock it out and then go on to my other ones. And then after the fact is, um, is something that was really important to me was uh, showing up and uh, getting my, my stuff done and making sure that I still had enough time for my wife at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So let me ask you this. If someone's listening right now, they're not, they, they're, maybe they're a wantrepreneur. They, mm. see, they want to start a business. Sure. And they've gotten motivated. Oh, they're, yeah. they're excited. They, 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 last year, they, they made the 2016 resolution. They put it on the goal sheet. Yep. And they said, I'm going to learn how to start a successful company this year. Maybe they formed the LLC, Z, mm -hmm. and then they sort of ran out of they, – maybe they formed the LLC. Maybe they even looked at getting a small business loan. They even got a logo made, and then they just sort of ran out of gas. Z, what, what uh, encouragement would you have for somebody to help, help them uh, – encourage them to stay diligent or to become more diligent? Well, I tell you what. We're going to help you fill up your gas of your car, i.e. your business idea. And there's a great way to start off 2017. Oh, boy. You know, just because people have just begged us to do it, we are now starting to do these with great success. They're called in-person workshops. What does that mean? That means you actually physically come to the 
Thrive 15 headquarters, this beautiful facility we have here on the left coast of the Arkansas River. It's going to be January 20th and the 21st, and we are going to sit there face-to-face and teach you and coach you up and encourage you and lift you up and let you know you can get her done and then tell you how to get her done on starting and growing that business. And I'll tell you what, you're going to get specific and practical training on time management, marketing, sales. But let's get into marketing. How do you differentiate your business in the Well, wait, if I want to know more about it, where do I, where do I go? Well, here's I mean, what, here's you're what, teasing here's, me right now. Here's what you do. you got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. Okay, go thrivetimeshow.com. Dot com. All right, all right. And when you get there, you're going to find you're going to find on the website, that you're, you're going to find that there's a little button there you can click called Conferences. All right, I'm clicking. And when click. you click Conferences, all right. you're going to find the itinerary. And you got to reserve your seat. You got to reserve your spot because we don't make this where there's thousands of people. We're not renting out a hotel somewhere and, and you know trying to upsell you a bunch of stuff in the back of the room. What we're doing is we're bringing you into our home. It's like the home court advantage into the Thrive15.com world headquarters, and we are teaching you our proven 13-point system so that you can learn what to do and know how to apply it within your own business, Doctor Z. That's the plan. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Well, listen, I you know part of the reason I'm not starting my business right now is I can't. I mean, the money, the money situation. So this this in person workshop costs money. What if I can't? What if I can't stroke that check? What what do I do then? I just I just well, sit there and go, man, I wish I could go, or I could maybe peek in the window, come around to the side over here where the the river is, and look in the windows. I mean, can I do that? Or well, what we made I, we made we, we made two promises to the listeners here a few months ago, and we're gonna stand behind that. It's one, no matter how much money you have, if you have seven dollars in your pocket right now you could afford to get out to one of these okay and then when you get here we're not going to upsell you and because of our scholarship program literally it's if you can't afford the price of the ticket don't stress out we're not going to talk about it publicize it we're just going to help you out the whole goal is to help you learn what you need to know to be successful but as maya angelou said the famous poet she said that it's nothing works unless you do so you're going to have to take some action there you you're go. going to have to get here Someone needs to mark their calendar right now. You want to mark that? You want to get a pen right now? January 20th and 21st. Go to thrivetimeshow.com. Reserve your seat for January 20th and 21st. Thrivetime Show. Go to that website, thrivetimeshow.com. Reserve those tickets. Now, Z, I want to ask you here. When, it talk, when you talk about differentiating your business, there's tons of optometrists in Tulsa, many of which, uh, uh, actually all of which, went to school. They have a degree. Apparently. They're yes. optometrists. Yes, yes. So let's get into move number one. Move number one is you must know how you stack up versus the other guys. You must have a purple cow. You must understand the concept of the purple cow. Z, why is it so important that you figure out what makes you unique right away? Why do you have to figure that out? Because here's the deal. I, you know, it's funny. I talk to businesses right now that come to me and they, you know, they want mentorship. Of course, that's why we put together the whole Thrive15.com website. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out. Thrive15.com, okay? Because, you know, you can only business and you can only coach some people. And I remember I was talking to one guy and uh, he, he was the CEO of a bank. And he, he looked at me and he goes, you know, man, we're, we're special. We're, we're different. We're, we're, we're better than those other banks. I said, really? We're established. Really, really? I said, well, how are you? And he looked at me and he goes, Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, we're, you know, we're, I said, well, y'all lend money, you know, kind of like optometrists, you all do eye exams, right? I mean, you I know. I really love retinas. <laughs> you, I'm the cornea king. king. You, you sell glasses. I mean, we kind of buy them, you know, there's, you know, so many vendors in the world and we all kind of buy them from the same vendors, you know, just like the, the bank. I mean, what? is your money better than their money? I mean, you know, the, it's a, sometimes you break it down. You think, oh, it's just a commodity. There's no way to differentiate myself. I mean, a bank's a bank and optometrist and optometrist. Big suckers, big uh, suckers. You know, hey, you know, they can fix a radiator. We can fix a radiator. So, you know, really, I guess there is no differentiating, but you know, on today's show, We're going to give you some secret sauce, some little hot sauce on how to do that, how to get your mind wrapped around that. So then you can actually go, you know what, even though we're doing the exact same thing as the competitor down the street, we're going to do it and make it appear that we're going to be doing it better. And John's going to walk you through how to do it on your website. Ooh, because so many people have I a can website. Wait for today's show. You're getting a lot of traffic. Can we just skip this next break and get into it? Well, or do I, we have to do this? I kind of got to go to a break because I got to get over to Oklahoma Joe's real oh, quick. Man. I've timed it. Oh, I can get out there. Down All right. Some well, don't beans. go anywhere because this show is hot sauce. ThriveTimeShow.com. ThriveTimeShow.com. Are you a business owner? You need to ask yourself right now, how are you backing up your files and important documents? Most businesses have no system 
for the files in their business. If this is you, you got to use Dropbox. At least sign up for one of their 30 day free trials. Real talk. It's the secure file sharing and storage solution that employees and IT administrators trust. You get as much space as needed at no additional cost. You get unlimited file recovery and versioning, basically creating new versions, and valuable admin controls for secure sharing and collaboration with Dropbox for Business. You gotta check this out. After using Dropbox, you'll definitely feel more secure knowing that a virus or power surge can't ruin your computer and your entire business. Try full access to Dropbox business for 30 days, head over to dropbox.com to get started. Again, dropbox.com to get started. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Hello, Thrive Nation. Welcome back into the conversation. If you have been looking for that, that self-help, that encouragement, that business knowledge that you couldn't find in college, you have found the right place. And today we are talking about specifically how to differentiate your business in a crowded marketplace. And and so, Z, I've got an audio, I've got a song ready here that I think totally demonstrates the power of differentiating yourself in a crowded marketplace. Does this harken back to your DJ days? Mm. It kind of does. And, it, and it, 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 this idea germinated in my brain. I went to church. I, we, we go to the Metropolitan Baptist Church in downtown Tulsa. But there was about eight weeks ago, we had family in town and we couldn't get out there. So we went to a nearby church. And I'm sitting next to a guy and I look at him and he looks just like Rod Stewart. See, you know what I'm talking about? The Rod Stewart hair? Young Turks, so, in Rod Stewart, he, there's a quote Rod Stewart says. And he says, it's not about the music. It's about selling music. Ooh, I like that. So here's Rod Stewart. Remember that song? Do you think I'm sexy, Rod oh, yeah. Stewart? Now, Rod Stewart, people don't realize, he was a professional soccer player. Yeah. And it occurred to him that they would have big, these big parties, and he would grab the mic and dance around. And it occurred to him, I could, re- I could, I could kill it in the game of music. And so he got this whole look and this whole style and this whole vibe, and he just sells every song. And the whole thing is Rod Stewart. If you see Rod Stewart's hair, you don't you don't miss that. Oh, and he, exactly. And he, and he, yeah. But there's a lot of people who can sing very well. Yeah. But he would jump off of speakers and dance around, and the energy he brought that's what differentiated him. Uh, Prince is an awesome artist. We unfortunately lost this year, but Prince is a is a phenomenal phenomenal musician. But I can tell you what he's probably. The one of the top elite musicians I've ever seen. However, I can tell you, sad story, I have seen people that, that are at an elite level with their music talent, but they're not really good at marketing that talent, and therefore they, they sort of uh, don't get, get to reap the fruits of their efforts there. And right. so we're talking today about how to stand out, specifically under the microscope, under the focus, under that myopic look into the world of optometry, and how you've been able to differentiate yourself for 25 years at Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. Well, here's the deal. You know, my first move, my first move was value. I brought value and I brought kind of a little bit of fun to optometry. Okay. Okay. So that was that was my first move. That was the first purple cow I brought out into the past. What does value mean from your perspective? Uh, low price. Low price. I mean, there's there's a reason why Walmart is value driven in their marketing. I don't want to be known as the cheap doctor. I don't want to be known as the cheap dentist. I don't want to be known as the cheap. And that's your choice. I tell you what, Nordstroms and Dillard's have different approaches, right? And so when you're starting your business, I mean, you could either be this little boutiquey store that sells, you know, very expensive stuff, and that can be, you know, that can be a differentiator for you. Welcome you know? to Snurdly's Optometry. <laughs> Welcome where you'll get a pedicure with every eye exam. I mean, you know, you could differentiate. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm telling you how I did it. Mm. So my first move, you asked me before the break, my first move was a value. value. And I did a thing of like a two pair deal for $99. It was a colored pair of contacts and a clear pair because I figured out that a lot of people wanted to have a little fun with some colored contact lenses, but then they, they also wanted, up. yeah, but then they also wanted to be able to come in, you know, with a clear pair because if someone says, ew, your eyes aren't green and they look green today, then they can quickly slip in their great their clear ones and say what are you talking about i didn't i didn't i that i didn't i don't know what you're talking about don't know what you're talking about so value is kind of my first differentiator okay and then another thing i think is so important out there um so important out there is to find a parade and get in front of it and then i got actually i got celebrities to endorse me how'd i do that i paid them money wait a minute wait a minute wait, wait, wait. are you saying that michael jordan has been paid money 
to that he's endorse disingen- Gatorade. <laughs> that he's disingen- he, he might like Gatorade. I don't know. I mean, you know, there's so many different flavors and colors now. I guess you could probably find one you like, you know. But I don't know how much he likes it. But um, on the commercials, it sure looks like he drinks it a lot. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this because we have Jonathan Kelly on the, on the show here. He's Jacob. our in-house <laughs> marketing wizard, okay? He sits down with business owners every day who are struggling to differentiate themselves, and he helps them do it. And and one area that you really help people a lot is on their website because everyone has these conservative websites where they all look the same and Mm -hmm. no one wants to stand out for risk of being criticized. What are some tips you'd have for the listener on how they can differentiate their website? Well, I'd say one thing is you want to make it a no-brainer for people to uh, contact you. Uh, no so, brain. That's cool. That's the world. That's what I do I all the time. Have a brain anyway. So Where? everybody can offer great service, right? But it's much different to actually get those butts in the doors. And so one of the ways to get the butts in the doors is, hey, just try us. Oh, like, like, just try us for a dollar or whatever that that offer might be, uh, just to get the butts in the door, so you can actually prove your service, your quality, all of those other things. And so what I would say is I would, one, have a clear call to action at the top, the, the above the fold, and make sure that you are using a no-brainer offer that people are like, hey, you know what? Why would I not try out this service? Why would I not? I don't have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Here's, nice. here's, here's something that I'll give you. This is the best example I can give you, the best audio example. We've all been in a wedding reception where mm. the music's kind of – playing and, and it's 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 a song like just the way you look tonight and then you're like going babe i think we need to go can we go can we go and you're in but the she goes no no we know the bride let's stick around till after the cake i mean it's just like okay we're, uh, get, set the set the stage a little it's like an ethnic one where it's like you know like my friend who was uh he's jewish i mean they had they when they throw a wedding i mean it's a party or is no. this like or is this like the the baptist party we're in the gymnasium with kool-aid which one is this it? is I mean, like you're at tarp chapel nice place okay tarp but, chapel. It's, but it's 12 p.m Okay. And this is 12 in the afternoon, and it ends at oh, like 12, 3. Oh, okay. So, so, okay. so you're not serving dinner. That's okay, important. So, yeah, and you're important. having like cheese cubes. It's yep. a great okay, place. Yep. Fine facility, but you got to finish. Little crackers, little Ritz crackers. you got to finish before the next wedding, because the next wedding is like okay, a five. Okay, okay. I'm getting, so you I'm got just about getting a five. Okay, okay, we're there. Okay. And you're having cheese cubes, and you're like, well, I probably shouldn't. But they have the club crackers. They're really nice ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the so you're going back. Regular ones. But you're going like, we got to leave. And then all of a sudden, like an angel from heaven, this happens. It just it starts to play and you start to get this mojo. Let me see if I can get it going here. Oh, it's not going to work for me. This is this is what this is. See, this is a crime against humanity. Oh, when we come back, I might have to just cue this up here. But what happens is somebody plays like Brass Monkey or something, okay? Oh, or somebody brass. plays like Monkey Monkey. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's my jam, and you run to the and floor. And you drop your cheese cubes. You just drop them. You drop the cheese you cubes. Just that's what them in your mouth. Yeah, and what happens is all of a sudden though, it's like it creates an energy. It creates a, and that's what having a, a solid call to action on your website does. It like shocks you into well i'm just kind of looking at the, at the site to like man i gotta do that and so and th- uh, some examples right now at your optometry clinic you have a special on the site where it's 99 dollars. yep for uh one pair of fashionable glasses yes and uh and a, an eye exam yes with free frame warranty and you can add for you know 129 for just 30 dollars more you can add a second pair second how pair. can you afford to do that how can i afford not to so you're saying that this is a I got to get him in the door. It's called advertising marketing. You get him in the door. There it is. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Oh, man. See, oh, it, no. just, it doesn't want to do it work, work for us here. Uh, the, the, just a little element of excitement. Well, you're DJs. See, this is the pro- You stop. You sell your company. You stop DJing. And then this is, this is what, yeah, he's you out know. the game now. This he's is what game. happened. I'm out of the game. Out of the game. I can't he's even hit play game. properly anymore. But here's the thing, Thrivers. <laughs> when you're listening, if you're, if you're listening to this right now, I want you to get out a sheet of paper. And I want you to jot down what is... Is it that makes your business stand out in a crowded marketplace? It has to be a purple cow. You see, if you're driving out to Ogmulgee to your uh, to your ranch, yes, there's a lot of brown cows that are going to pass. Mm. Black ones too. Black mm. ones. But if one was purple, you would pull over, or you would go, "What is that?" Or your what kid did would, they do to that cow? Is that because I got to call PETA? So, but the, but the <laughs> happens is, so many people are so worried about painting their cows purple because they're saying, "Is this ethical?" I mean, is you that, can I do that? But you gotta have a move. You gotta, you gotta have a move. Otherwise, you're just gonna be the same. Wah 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 wah. You gotta have the leads. There it is. Oh, oh they're my back gosh. now. There we yes. Go. But DJ you, Clay's back in the house. You know, you, Thrivers, I'm just telling you what, you've got to have leads. It's all about the leads. I'll tell you what's wrong with most businesses right now. They don't have enough leads. They don't have enough leads. And you know what? Today's show is all about creating leads and turning those leads into people in your store and then turning those people into money in your pocket. Now, we come back. John's going to educate us about comparing you versus the other guys. You versus the other guys. 
For the professional looking man out there, this is for you. Are you tired of waiting for hours in disorganized barbershops around town? Are you maybe looking for an upscale haircut experience instead of being treated like a little kid? If either of these thoughts crossed your mind, then Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge is for you. The Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge is proud to offer a variety of packages and memberships for discerning men and regular customers who wish to maintain their tailored look while receiving discounts off of services and products. They're going to bring you in, they'll offer you a beverage, identify your style that you're going for, get you a tailored haircut from one of the professional stylists, wash your hair, and then style it afterwards so you could even go back to work. The experience is awesome. They even do cool things for members like a free nape shave on Mondays or a peppermint oil scalp massage on Tuesday. Check out one of the locations near you and book an appointment. You can check them out at eitrlounge.com or just dial 918-877-2219. Seriously, you're going to love it. 918-877-2219 or visit eitrlounge.com to book an appointment today. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to the Inspiration Conversation. My name is Clay Clark, and I am the audio sensation and perhaps America's most humble man. I'm the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year in your ear. And guess who is here today inside the box that rocks? I, is it Trevor? Is it Kevin? Is it? It's Dr. Zellner. He's back. He's back in the box. Hello, Thrivers, and Happy New Year. And Clay, I'll tell you what, I can't verify with 100% accuracy whether you are the most humble man Mm. in the world, but I can do this. I can pretty much verify with a 98.7% accuracy rate that you are the palest man. Oh, see, I thought it was going to be a compliment, and then he just takes me down. No, it's very white. It's It's very... You know, back in the day, back in the day, I can't verify the times or the dates, but rumor has it that women used to want to stay pale. Oh, yeah. Now they're wanting to tan. But well, they want to I, mix I, it up. It's kind of like you know, I cut my hair to make it grow long. I, you know, I get tan so I can then be, you know, pale. I get pale. So you're then kind I of can a historian. Tan. You remember back in the day where people wouldn't smile and they wanted to be pale? Yes. Women yes. wanted to be pale and not smile? Yes. I, w- I would have been a perfect woman back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been. You're the Mona Lisa of business is what you're trying to say. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's wow. Jonathan Kelly yeah. coming in hot. Yeah. Jonathan Ooh. Kelly. That's why he's in charge of our marketing and advertising and search engine magic. Now, I'm going to tell you this, Thrivers. If you're listening and you're going, I got to take my, my website optimization to the next level. I don't know how to get to the top of Google. Maybe you're listening and you say, I am at the top of Google, but my phone is not ringing. Well, let me walk you through. There's a four-part little science of how we do it here. John will walk you through how we do each step. But the first part is you define what makes you different. The second step is you have to act, okay? The third is you measure, and then you have to measure the data and refine. So, John, let's talk about defining what makes you different. What kind of things? Let's say that I'm listening right now, and I am a bakery. What are some things that you could do potentially to make my bakery, or what are some things we might want to mess with to make our bakery different? Okay, well, you're going to want to do a couple things. So one, you're going to want to actually clearly define what makes you different than other bakeries. And I know that seems kind of like everybody's like, oh, you know what? I don't want to do that because it's industry. We're professional. Yeah, we're all professional here. We're Tulsa based. Yeah, yeah. We're we're all kindred, kindred spirit. Yeah. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're actually clearly defining that saying, hey, this is what we do. And this is what most other competitors do. Are you saying that you're going to compare potential? I mean, you're going to be like Geico where you're running a commercial saying take 15 minutes. Maybe you can save 15%. You're actually going to be, what was that ad we saw online the other day where the guy straight up was comparing the the two websites? It was on top of Google. And they were totally saying the the alternative to this. Remember that? It was, uh, um, I think it was Home Advisor and Angie's List. So if you actually Google Angie's List, Home Advisor comes up and it says better than her list. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. that's a little naughty move. Taking is that the food eth- is that out of ethical? Mouth. Is that ethical? ethical? Now, once that you ethical. once you take action, once you begin to do this next step, why do you have to eventually take action? Where do you see a lot of clients? We have people from all over the world. Okay, just 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 today, we have people from New York in here, Florida. When people come to to, to, to Tulsa and we sit down with them for a two day workshop, 
Where do most people get it wrong, John? Once they've defined, why are so many people not wanting to take that action? Well, I'd say it's uh, it's one thing to define something, and it's a whole different thing to actually uh, carry it out. Oh, no. Because uh, that's where the work is, right? So it's one thing to like make a claim. Oh, we're back to that four-letter word. It's another thing to be like, you know what? I actually have to deliver on this claim that I just made. What? And, uh, you know, nice it's, 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 it's hard work. So now, you're saying if I say I've got the best cookies... I use the best chocolate, then I actually have to try to make a chocolate chip cookie that's good. Mm. Oh, see, Truth that's, bombs. Truth bombs. Ah. Truth bombs everywhere. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you what. This is the part about acting that's scary. You remember back in the day when Tina Turner grew out that big mop? Oh, yeah. You remember that? Where Tina Turner, you know, she's a she's, uh, you know, young singer. All of a sudden, though, she's, do, you know, she's dating Ike, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she had hair that was, like, straightened. It was pretty, you know, it's pretty normal hair. Yeah. And at one point, this is what she did. She goes... I'm going to get that thing big. I'm going to go gonna, big. I'm going to go big. I mean, and you're going that big? I'm going to go bigger. Big, the biggest. That big? And she goes, I'm going to wear tights all the time and sparkles. Oh. And all of a sudden, see, she's out there performing. And they're like, what is going on? Going, okay, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Sure. But the first time that you bust out that big mop, that big wig. Oh, yeah. It, it, you know, it's a little scary. It's a little scary because now all of a sudden you're putting yourself out there. When you when you define and you start to act, now the thing that's going to happen and it's it's horrible what it does, but you get some rejection. Can I tell mm. you about uh, a streaking experience? <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you? It's about time. I've been wondering. You know, we're, we're, we've done a hundred plus shows now, yeah, yeah. and I've been waiting patiently <laughs> for you to tell about this story. No okay. visuals, please. No now visuals. the statute of limitations is now passed. Okay, so okay, I'm, I'm so thirty six. This it. is eight. Yeah. I was eighteen. Uh, what happened? I guess I was uh, 19, okay? But I was going to get married, you know, and the, the guys thought, hey, a good idea. What we'll do is we'll have them streak, sprint totally naked from the Oral Roberts University dormitories oh, yeah. down this, to the Maybe Center. That's yeah, what we're going to do. sounding like a really good idea, by the way. Yeah, it's also I, Oral Roberts Christian University. Yes, of course. And I had no, uh, I had no uh, control over this because the guys, I'm not kidding, they literally put me in a, in a Bronco. They took off all my clothes. and They said, we'll see you at the Maybe Center. <laughs> and I'm in the upper lot, and I'm getting married the next day. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, no, and I waited there for probably, it seemed like you know, hours, but it was probably 20 minutes, and I'm going, they're not going to come. <laughs> they're not, they're, they're actually. <laughs> so they defined, they said, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. But oh, the yeah. next step is you have to act. So they oh, did, yeah. they, they, they took my clothes off, they left me in a Bronco, and now I'm going, oh, no. Now, so I begin to just run. And the problem is the first person I run into is somebody's soccer mom, I'm sure. It's somebody's mom. And, I, and I'm not kidding. No, no, so I, no. I, I'm not kidding. So I duck behind a bush. I'm in the prayer gardens now. Oh, yeah. And I'm kind of hiding. Oh, yeah. and I'm You're running. praying. You're really praying now. And I'm like Please, running. And, and if, you, if you've there. ever been to ORU, there is like nowhere to hide. You're running straight down a massive hill of the Maybe Center. Yeah. I get in there. I'm going to tell you what. Um, if you're going to, you know, measure how scary of a situation it was, there's so many people like, oh, oh, look at that. What in the world? And all I'm just saying is that's where you'd want to refine right there. You wouldn't want to keep doing that. To the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. So I want to get into this. So you define, you act. Uh, hopefully your act a great story involve streaking. So, so did you make it? I did make it, and I'm telling you, and they were they were videoing the whole thing, and it was. I, I I'm still sort of angry about it. This is more therapy for me to share. Well, just let just vent it, just let it out. Yeah, I'm just got to ventilate. You it's know, a safe and, place. And and I will I will you know tell you that that it's okay for you to be upset that that was a very ornery thing those young men did to you. Yeah, and it that was, the scars that are resulting, we're going to just keep healing and get on. You will get over it. I will. I'm, I'm on the I'm verge. Valid, of, I'm validating so you can ventilate. I've been listening to a lot of What a Wonderful World by, uh, uh, you know, but the, the one with the, the guy with the, what is the ukulele. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, my yeah, calming yeah. method, method oh, is. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You know, so, so we, you, you define, you act, but John, the third is you have to measure the results. So in my case, I'm going to tell you what, if I were to do that twice, I'd probably be arrested on the second time. So that's probably mm, not the move. That's probably true. But when you're running ads, where do people get it wrong and where do they get discouraged when they run their first one or two or three ad campaigns and they maybe don't get that immediate result, John? Well, one thing is like, so they have a great idea, right? So everybody's got this great idea. This oh, is baby. definitely going to be the one that's going to get uh, people in the doors, right? It's going to be huge. And huge. so they run it for just a week or two and then they don't see the results that they're looking for. And so they get discouraged. But then they kind of give up on actually looking and measuring um, what the results are. I, th I feel like everybody believes that if they have the, gr the right idea, the great I business idea, they're going to be millionaires. Bro, man, those coffee shops can revolutionize the world, man. It's really not about coffee, but, you know, I think, you know, we probably should sell some because it's a coffee shop. 
bro, I was just thinking, man, we could bring in like these imported uh, chocolate bars and we could just put those by the coffee. And even though there's no customers there, the vintage will cause like a chain reaction. It's fair trade, bro. Fair trade. Fair trade, bro. And then the sales will start to happen. Let's put it in a rundown area, bro. I I just need one bro in there to get coffee, man. (laughs) It's going to just explode. I got my wool cap on and it's 90 degrees outside, but uh, (laughs) it's fair trade. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal, Thrivers. Someone needs to write this down. You need to write this down right now. You didn't. You need to tell maybe somebody you're married to. Tell yourself. Talk to somebody. Someone needs to hear this. You don't have a business until you sell something. What? Mm. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Back up. Uh, come back on. Back up. Back That's up. Just me. It's on. No wait. It's in my brain. I got it. I, you don't understand. It's it's complete. It's within me. I got this. You, check it out. You don't have a business until you sell something. And I got something that's huh. gonna rhyme rhyme with you. If you can't sell, your business will go to. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? It's not gonna do well. It's not going to do well if you can't sell. If you can't sell, so, so what you got to do is you got to put a a, a a bias on marketing. You got to put a bias on marketing. That's what. That's what. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I spent all my money on on the build out. This place is super cool. Yeah. I spent all my money on my product. You got to understand these latte machines are expensive, bro. Yeah. Oh, bro, yeah. they're expensive. Okay. And and then I spent all my money on. I had to redo the parking lot, but bro, it looks really awesome. I relined it. It's and hot it's sizzle. Hot sizzle, bro. Hot sizzle. Plenty of parking spaces out there. And bro, I didn't. I don't. I don't. I can't afford to market. I can't afford to do advertising. If I spend money on the internet, next thing you know, I'll have to build a website, and then I'll have to get some business cards, and I got to hire a sales guy. I, I just don't mess with the internet. For me, it's all organic and all natural. It's person to person. It's word of mouth, my friend. All my business is word of mouth. Now, see. People, though, get stuck in these traps, these mental traps. And so when we get back, we're going to get into, okay, we're going we're gonna to assume that you have acted, okay? okay. We're going to assume enough, you are refining. Enough. But now we're going to get into specifically how to compare yourself to the other guys. Oh, Why? and I've got, oh, I've got a great super move that I did when I first started out. And it is so fun, and you don't want to miss it. And if you're watching on Facebook Live, we promise that neither I nor John Kelly will be doing any streaking during the remainder of this show. I'm not going to give that promise. You're yeah. not, he's not going to, you can't stand. I, 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 can't, I can't, I can't verify that. I can't I verify that. That's a very, that's a very a Trump-esque guarantee right there. Can I guarantee? I should just go running by the window here. <laughs> Primetimeshow.com. <laughs> okay, managing your money has not been easier. Mint.com is the solution to ambiguous and blind money management. You can effortlessly create budgets that are easy to stick to or even use one that they make for you. Design budgets that are appropriate for now and put you in position to succeed in the future. Get notifications for weird account charges and receive personalized tips for eliminating fees and saving more money. Check your credit with a free credit score and explore what you can do to improve it to be able to purchase the things that you really want later. Link up the app on your phone and money management on the go has never been easier. You can even link up your portfolio accounts so you can see your bank accounts and stock values side by side. Mint.com, you got to go check it out and you can sign up for free. Again, that's mint.com, M-I-N-T dot com. Go sign up right now. It's definitely a game changer for money management. Broadcasting from the center of the universe, featuring optometrist turned entrepreneur, Dr. Robert Zellner, and U.S. SBA Entrepreneur of the Year, Clay Clark. This is the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, 1170 listeners, welcome back to your favorite show. And in fact, I'm telling you what, I am super excited to be here with you, wherever you are, talking about one of my favorite subjects which is how to make your business boom, Dr. Z. How to make your business boom. boom. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about what that, because what that, if you're listening right now and you don't know what it means to make your business boom, we're going to talk about today specifically how to differentiate your business in the marketplace. Yes, but why? It's to make your business boom. Boom, da, boom, chuckalaka, boom. Hey, you know what? I just, a beautiful man just walked by. It was a, his own purple cow, Tim Redmond. Just Tim walked Redmond, by. Yeah, yeah. And I gave him a little wave. And so if you're on Facebook Live, you catch these little purple cows every now and then walking by. So yeah, we've got the who's the who of Tulsa always inside the building. Real people. Now, I'm going to read you a notable quotable from a book called Scale, written by the, the founder of, here it is, William Shatner's company, William Shatner Priceline. Priceline. Oh, yeah. It just escaped me from the founder of Priceline. He says this. He says, the world doesn't pay you for the hours you put in. It pays you for the value you create. 
He goes on to say, the goal of owning a business here, here's where it gets weird. The goal of owning a business is not to be needed, but in fact, the opposite, to build a business that doesn't need you. Remember, the finish line is not just to be profitable. Uh Uh-oh. The real finish line is to build a truly scalable business that creates massive value in the marketplace without needing you to be there every day to run it. Oh, my God. But wait a second. Nobody can make the bagels as well as I can. I I, it's a family it's recipe been handed down. Bagels. It's been handed down for generations. You don't understand. And you want me to entrust some idiot off the street to make my bagels? And I you put my name on it? I will tell you. The one thing I do, I'm, I, I'm sorry it's hard for me to hold a conversation because my phone is always ringing. I pride myself on answering every phone call. Hey, thank you for calling Oswald's Bagels. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you. Anyway, Z, what I was saying, I make all the bagels myself. I made all the checklists that I use myself. I call it Oswald's Bagels because I am Oswald. <laughs> one could say you're needed. Oh, one would needed. say you have a job and mm. not a business. I have, I have a deal where I work 107 hours a week because that's all that is mathematically possible. I have tried. <laughs> Oswald's Bagels. Oswald's Bagels. You know, there is, you know what? Someone's going to be listening out there and go, oh my gosh, that's the name of my business. Yeah. Oswald's mine. Bagels. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you so Mr. Make Oswald, if, if you are out there, you're just getting some free advertising, number one. You're welcome. <laughs> and number two, send us some bagels. Now, I'm going to talk about this, Z, because I, I see you do it. And, I'm, and this is what the thing is. You want to go ahead and draw a pyramid, drivers. If you're listening right now. Get out a sheet of paper and draw a pyramid. Oh, so it's a pyramid scan. That's what we're doing. We're yeah, doing the old pyramid scan. Very, very simple pyramid. All right. I'm drawing it. I'm drawing okay, it. Okay. And at the bottom of the pyramid, okay, the very bottom. you want bottom, an Egyptian or like Mayan pyramid? Well, Ooh, let's go with the Mayan. They, they're underrated. Okay. The Mayan. Okay. okay let's go. So the bottom, of the, the bottom of the pyramid, you got to write product. You got to have a product that people product. want. Okay. But the second, right above the product, you've got to have sales. Sales. Oh, this is, this is getting kind of squirrely. Now, right above that, you got to have quality. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. And then finally, that's you self-actualizing. You get to do whatever you want. Well, so time simple. out, time out, time out, time out. What, what, I'm, it sounds so simple. It, well, it is simple. If you Again, it, it's simple, but it requires diligence. And so I think about your auto auction, and you, had, you sat down at one point with a team. I know you did it. You sat down, and you had to figure out a product that people would want. Okay, boom. How many hours did you spend on that, buddy? Is it hundreds of hours? I mean, seven hours? How long did it take you to really build the auto auction systems your first go around? Hundreds of hours. Okay, so you're sitting down. I mean, you got... I mean, it wasn't like overnight. It was like, you know, okay, let's order a cheese pizza and knock this out uh, while we're watching a football game. No, it was, you know... I mean, it's intense. Yes, it's, it's intense. And then you're, you know, the thing about it is they go, okay, now you got your manual done, your thing done, boom, you're zipped up, you're done. No, no, it's a constant redefining, re, you know, tweaking. Oh, well, we can do this better. Well, this changed, that changed, boom, 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 boom. But you made a product that people wanted. Yes, absolutely. And then after you made the product, you got to sell it. Well, you know, that's, you're right. Gosh, you got me there. I'm not asking you on the air this question, but, right. but when you bought the auto auction, when you go out there and build a, a you're, you're, where's, can you explain to the thrivers where the Z66 auto auction is located? Well, it, here in Tulsa, if you're familiar with Tulsa, we have one roundabout or one traffic circle. Well, actually, we have one downtown, but this is the one that's at Mingo and Admiral. Admiral the, is the road that actually divides Tulsa north and south, by the way. So it's right on that. It's just north of that, just north of that intersection um, on the west side of the road. There's about 15 acres there, and I have 20 acres across the road. But uh, it's, it's right there next to 244, which is one of our major highways, thoroughfares through Tulsa. So, so it's, right there it by the roundabout. The, highway. the roundabout, right the, over there. You have the there. roundabout. You need to okay, but so people get over there, and you look at it, and you're going, I, and I don't know, I was just looking up on Craigslist, uh, but it, it probably cost you $7 to build it. Seven dollars? <laughs> yes, seven. I yes, just, seven. A uh, se- couple eight. more, couple more, uh, you know, a couple more commas and with no, zeros. With in no there. more customers, though. No customers. You're still just building the infrastructure. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I had to buy the land, which was expensive. Uh, seven dollars. Yeah, bought it off Mike Fine. He's a tough negotiator, by the Mike way. Fine? Mike Fine. Mike hey, Fine. Fine Airport Parking. If you're listening right now and you know Mike Fine, I'll tell you what. I was in. Uh, uh, yeah, you could text him. You're a tough negotiator from Z. I was randomly skiing in Denver, and there, lo and behold, comes into the restaurant Kirk Fryer, the district manager from Farmers Insurance, and Mike Fine. And I'm like, what is going on? Why What's are you guys on? here? You unicorns are all in the same They're place. stalking me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Back to you, though. So you're- Anyway, so I had to buy the land. Yep. Then I had to, of course, design as I'm buying, as I'm negotiating to buy it. Mike Fine's a tough negotiator. And so um, I had to buy the land. Great negotiator. I had to design it. Then I had to go through a bunch of stuff with the city and with uh, FEMA because there was a corner of it was a uh, floodplain. So that was a whole. Go through it, meaning you love uh, it. You, you know, love talking so about city. so great. Government regulations are we just so you. encouraging for Go- business. Government so is so wonderful. good at growing oh, jobs. Yeah, and they're growing so jobs, so good. Efficient with their time and those permits. It's just easy. Thank it's you, just government. E- it's just easy. They make it so easy. You just want to do it again the and more again. P- and the again. More p- the 
bigger the government is, the better. Oh, absolutely. Okay, back uh, no, to no doubt about that because you know they're here for us. But it, the the point <laughs> is, is then then you got to start building it, and then. I went from about halfway through the process, I had my team around me, and I looked at them and said, okay, guys, we've officially gone from, I hope this works. Come on now. Dude, this has to work. <laughs> Which leads us to one of your top 10 rules of business. You've got to be the what at breakfast, my man. Well, it's number three. You've got to be the pig and not the chicken. Now, wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back that up a second. Mm. You see, down on the farm, Ma used to make us a great big breakfast every morning. <laughs> And in that breakfast, she'd scramble me up some eggs and sizzle me up some bacon. And I'd fill my belly with a hot buttered biscuits. Hey, man, you guys, if I can I have another biscuit, please? And Say. I'd work all morning long until I got a little hungry for lunch. No, here's the deal. So at breakfast, you have eggs and bacon. This okay. may sound kind of simplistic. But the chicken was involved in breakfast in other words laid an egg and wandered off and went pecking in the grass and chasing june bugs right yeah absolutely. that's what they do right you've we have many chickens, chickens. You know, we love you, chickens you know yeah. chickens but the pig gave his life he's he was, all in he was all in he was committed to breakfast and that's that is one of the rules that you've got to be in business you've got to, at some point you got to go okay this is <laughs> i hope this works and <laughs> you know this is kind this of a fun so little good. hobby it could be disruptive maybe it'll be you know because <laughs> when they go out for a movie tonight and then, then but if you're the owner you're going I am not going out to a movie. I can't afford a movie. I got to get this thing going. So you, you start off with that product. Then you got to do sales. Right. And John is a rainmaker. He helps people sell things. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. So, John, talk to me about you've seen so many business owners that come in here with great ideas. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to brag on Coach Calvert. Oh, yeah. With scorebball.com. Mm. He has the best basketball camps in Tulsa, and he knows it. What separates Coach Calvert from other business owners that you've seen from from most business owners from the average business owner. well what i'd say is uh coach calvert actually has this like honey badger mentality right so uh every once in a while we'll, we'll secret shop our clients right just to to make sure that all the systems and the checklist mean we call them to see if they call us back we leave right. them a voicemail we fill out a form so i put my number in uh, one of the forms for oh coach here we calvert, go and a homeboy lights me up like a christmas tree boom he, he calls me three times <laughs> same day texts me twice and sends me an email. Ah, so he then you. he woofed you. He woofed me. That's exactly right. And so then I tell him, I'm like, hey, listen, you're, this is awesome, right? Like you are just after it. He's and a he, unicorn. He was actually kind of mad that I wasn't a real lead. He was just like, so you're, <laughs> so you're saying I could just cross you off my list then? This 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 person, this is not a real person. So you're gonna book for camp or what? I mean, I know you're, yeah. you're getting into <laughs> yeah. your thirties, but do you want to do? I mean, is you're, it? We have, we have a late twenties basketball camp. I we just started. I understand that you're a short white guy, but do you still want to? You try? reached out to me. You've yeah. got to be in the yeah, camp. Yeah, now. yeah, you have yeah. to. <laughs> Well, before the break, Clay, I talked about one of the early moves that I did, one of the yeah. little secret hot sauce moves Give me that the I hot did. Sauce. And when you literally walked into my optometry office, I had a uh, a board set up there, yep. a whiteboard, yep. and on there I had my competitors and okay. myself. Come on, now. side mm. by side. Come on. And I had the exact same product and the different prices at each of the different optical stores in in the area. Okay. You took the time to study the other guys. Oh yeah. Real quick, this is a deep thought. Some of you, you go, why does he always talk about the Patriots? Why does he always do that? Oh, I, oh here we go. Yeah, Here's the deal. On. Do you know that Bill Belichick literally hired, and I'm not kidding, he literally has hired a, you got to look this up, Thrivers. You can look it up. Um, you can watch um, Bill Belichick, you know, the, the, anything on YouTube about this. He hired a rocket scientist recently to replace himself as the film guy because he won a true story. So the guy who's watching the film now, is like super detailed. He's coming in going, uh, their offensive uh, tackle has a bad left knee. Uh, we should expose that weakness. And he just like straight up, but he studies every game and he comes to Bill with a chart of weaknesses to expose. That is so genius to do that. I mean, wait a second, wait a second. A rocket scientist? True story, yeah. I mean, does the film then explode and go into orbit? <laughs> if you get a chance to go on YouTube and watch the video, um, it's about the, how, they, how, they, how the Patriots beat the Seahawks. Uh, my brother in law, he didn't believe me. He went and watched it and he goes, are you kidding me? He they, literally, and this guy, the whole thing is the, the attention to detail of knowing what you're up against matters. So, Z, you're saying that you actually knew the other guys, what they were doing. Yeah, exactly. It's so funny because, you know, if, you know when, you're, when you're at the bottom of the rung and you're trying to climb up that ladder of success and you're out there working and you're hustling and then you get to the top of the ladder and you're thinking, okay, this is awesome. And then all of a sudden you see your competitors 
you know, scrolling into your place and looking at your prices and writing stuff down. You're like, wait, hey, wait a second. You can't do my moves. I swear, nobody can, nobody can do cheat my like moves. I cheat. Yeah, you huh? can't. That's just sneaky. I don't think Why that's are ethical. you deflating the balls? My job that. is you to can. deflate the balls. Why would you deflate a ball? I, I was unethical. But when I did it, it was the ball boy. He took the balls well, because, into the bathroom. You know, uh, you don't know what happened. Tom's hand was sore that day, so he needed a softer ball. It's just, for yeah, it's you just, know. A, just a something. And John is yeah. a Giants fan. Medical, can, medical purposes. Could not possibly understand what it would be like to deflate balls. I could not. Okay. I right. could understand how it is to beat the Patriots. Oh. 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 Okay. oh, okay. Now, so Thrivers, so once you start, again, you make the product, then you got to market that product, okay? But then the next level is you got to get that get that feedback. Now, Z, once you start selling something, you got to get feedback, man. You've got to get that feedback. Oh, you know what? This is the tough part because not, no, this is going to hurt somebody out there's oh. feelings, and I don't want to do that. Because just, can we just all hold hands and say kumbaya? Let's just hold hands. Kumbaya. And, some of the feedback you're going to get is going to be negative. Not what? And it's going to hurt your feelers and you're you're going to, you know, you're going to want to go no way. And and yet it happens and now in this day and age with the trolls. The trolls are in control mm. oh of my the gosh. online reviews. Oh my wear me out this thing of trolling and trolls and people just hate stuff and ugh. I commented on your Tulsa World article under a fake name, and I want you to know I have strong feelings about it. Okay, Clay, sweat this. So sweat this. So the busiest week of the year is the last week of the year, which we just encountered, okay? Yeah. I mean, crazy busy. Everybody has, everybody's everybody's off work. You know, everybody wants to come and get their eye care. Yeah. Everybody has those cafeteria plans where they've set money aside, pre-tax dollars, so now they have to... Use it, or they say lose it. Use it or lose so, it. You know, I mean, it's there's a crunch time to it, so they got to yeah. get in that week, right? And they've been, you know, they didn't have to have any surgeries that year. They didn't have to do anything, so they got this money sitting there. And you know, medical glasses. Get your glasses. Glasses. Your Step glasses. right up and get your glasses. And so a dude just posted, gave me a one star review. Come on. And he said in there, literally, he said, "Man, I was on hold for literally ten minutes." Oh. And I'm like, bro. But you know what that means? That means this, Z. That means the business is booming. Right? Boom, boom, yeah, boom. I know, but the I just hate that. I'm like, bo- I'm like you, know, you came in and got glasses. He said, I was on hold to find out if my glasses were ready. I'm like, you couldn't talk about your experience to come in. I have a Yogi Berra quote for you. Uh, I have a Yogi Berra quote. Yeah, Yogi Berra, famous um, uh, Hall of Fame baseball player. He says this. He says, that restaurant is so busy that no one goes there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think, what you need to hear. A little Yogi Berra wisdom there right there. I feel better, see? And that's what you do. When you're down, you find, you find a clown. Oh, when you're down, you find a clown. ThriveTimeShow.com. This show's episode is brought to you by Moz.com. If you have ever considered the World Wide Web as a viable strategy for your business, you got to check out this tool. Online marketing is complicated, but Moz Software makes it easy. Companies like 99designs, Otterbox, and Aaron's, they all use Moz because it works. Explore organic search keywords for your business, research Bing and Google search results for your targeted keywords, and link up Moz Local and Google My Business. Seriously, this tool is crazy powerful with the clarity it brings to online marketing for your business. Even if you're just curious, start a 30-day trial with Moz.com today. It's a game changer for your business. Moz.com, M-O-Z.com. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, welcome back, Tulsa. It's The Thrive Time Show, business school without the BS. And yes, my name is Captain Clay Tiberius Clark. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to help you navigate the tricky waters of entrepreneurship. And we are broadcasting from the left coast of the beautiful and always flowing Arkansas River. And I am joined here inside the box that rocks with a man who has gone from optometry dreams to entrepreneurial dreams to now he's sort of uh, like the, the, the Zorro of Tulsa, putting the Z all over the city. It's Dr. Robert Zellner. Yes, hello, Thrivers Thrive Nation. Good day. I hope you're enjoying your lunch. I hope you're enjoying the show. And I hope you're getting practical business tips to encourage you to start and to grow your business. And it's still appropriate in this first week of the year to say, Happy New Year. Happy first Thursday. Happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy happy New Year. You know know what made me even happier today? It's been a happy year so far, but maybe happy really just in the last couple hours here. We have inside the box that rocks. We have a first time, a first time guest. First time guest. We have a guy who, if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, 
as so many people are doing, and you go up there and you sign up for the two-day interactive workshop. And unfortunately, we don't have an unlimited number of seats. It's kind of a smaller, intimate setting. But when you come to these workshops, the man who has designed what we call the SEO manifesto, the search engine Mm. optimization uh, system that we teach people, the proven system that helps the, 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 the Davids of the marketplace beat the Goliaths of the marketplace. Unless you're trying to beat Dr. Robert Zone and Associates, in which case we hope that you lose. And if you're trying to beat <laughs> Elf in the Room, we hope that you lose. But no, but seriously. Don't crash you. So the thing is, he's the guy who's built those online marketing systems. It's in the box that rocks. It's Mr. Jonathan Kelly. Sir, how are you? Hey, if I were doing any uh, better, okay. vitamins would be taking me. Oh, vitamins mm. would be taking you. Mm. Very nutritious of you. Mm. Very nutritious. Now, here's the deal. Okay, here's the scenario. Here's the scenario. I'm listening right now, and I have a sandwich dream. I want to build a sandwich shop, okay? Okay. So I have a product that people love, and I've actually started to sell some stuff, a little bit of stuff, okay? Okay, okay. But now I'm trying to get my quality, you know, perfected right? so that I can self-actualize. I want to take tennis lessons. I'm 44, and I want to become, I want to do full-time tennis lessons and vocal lessons, and I don't have time for that. Because I'm working all the time. In the you business. want to be a singing tennis player. I want to do tennis. I want to do singing. I want to do. I want to all spend right, some time with my right, kids. So right. I want to get some free time. Yeah, some financial freedom and some okay, time freedom. Okay. And so I'm struggling because I'm competing right next to a huge sandwich shop. Oh my goodness! Mm. How can you? You can't. What, what were you thinking? It's a David and Goliath scenario. It's a David and Goliath scenario. So John, I want to ask you this: What would be? It's kind of that Eminem moment, that kind of lose yourself moment, you know, where it's you versus the other guys. You've got a very limited budget. And you're going, I just watched 8 Mile, I just watched Rocky IV, I just watched Gladiator. I've watched every motivational movie there was. I watched a marathon all night on Netflix, just watching them gotta all. You got to get Braveheart in there. You I got Braveheart. Yeah, yeah you got to do Braveheart, man. And mm. I'm pumped. I watched Rogue One. Freedom! I watched Rogue One twice. I am pumped up. I'm motivated. I've walked on hot coals, man. I, I've, I've been taking energy drinks. I've been taking steroids. I am pumped wow. up. I couldn't get more pumped, Dr. Z. I can tell. You are fired up. But baby. how do I actually take on Goliath there, John? How do you do it? Give me some advice. Well, first of all, if you were a sandwich, Clay, you would be a grinder. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. Um, but honestly, it, the, the secret uh, to David and Goliath is, is not so much a secret. It's, it's diligence. It's uh, just showing up every single day and carrying out the systems and the checklist that you've already that set needs some aside. Music. You're talking about diligence? Yeah. So you've already set aside these things, this, this purple cow, the, these things that already separate you from other businesses, right? And so now you just have to deliver on those promises. But I got bored. Well... So, Z, what would, what would you, what <laughs> would you say? About that. I'm, I'm just saying, though, for someone who's listening right now who goes, I just get distracted. I have a hard time, you know, sitting down and, and blocking out time. I, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I ex- insert reason for not doing what they know they need to do. Once they've learned what they need to do, give me that encouragement, that mentorship, that potentially non-fatal punch to the cranium. Push, push. <laughs> <laughs> Put you right in the jujinum. Oof, the ah. small intestine. Bam, right there. Well, I tell you what, here... Oh, oh, that's what yeah. you need to hear right yeah. now. Yeah. Somebody just sold gone, something. In something the just, wow. we just we just sold something. Probably some bagels or what? Did, what did they sell you? Oswald's think? bagels. Oswald's bagels. Let Oswald. Let me get that phone. That's me. It's my bagel shop. I answer every phone call. What are you doing, young man? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, well, hey, listen. If you're listening out there, you've just started your business. You're thinking about starting your business. You're going to come to our in-person workshop January 20th and 21st to get coached up to start your business. I want to just I'm going to short I'm going to just short track this for you. Mm. I'm just going to take you to the finish line right now. Oh, come but on. just get this get your head wrapped around this. You are David. Trust me, there is a Goliath out there waiting for you. I'm telling you what, folks, there's not a business you can come up with that there's not already somebody out there doing it. There's not somebody out there that's already grown it. Yeah. There's not somebody out there already crushing it in there. You know, when I came to Tulsa and I was going to open up uh, an optometry clinic, there was no, there was not hundreds and thousands of people walking around Tulsa going, gosh, if I did, I could only see if we just had another optometrist in town. If we just had one more optical store, my oh. kids could see and then they could learn at school. But we're just so short handed in that area. You know, it was war. Yeah, I mean, when Sam Walton opened up his deal, it wasn't because people couldn't find goods and, you know, and uh, baking goods and, and dry goods. There's no and, place you know, to buy anything. There's no place to buy I would just, I would, I would give all my money to whoever made the first thing that I, if anybody opened a store, 
that we're just going to sell some things, I would immediately go there. No, you had to see, you had to get motivated, man. You had to get motivated, folks. I tell you what, and nobody's going to be as motivated as you are. And if you're not motivated all the way, guess what? It's going to be taken away. Goliath is going to walk into your little camp and just grab all your stuff, slap you around, and walk out. And you'll be laying there naked like you were. But I grew up poor. <laughs> but I grew up poor. And that's why we're going to do business, folks, because we don't want to be poor anymore, right? We don't have any connections. And so we got to we gotta pull it up by the shoestrings. we got to get up every day. we got to say, listen, I'm not feeling well today. I still got to go in and punch it in. You know what? You don't have the you don't have the luxury when you're starting out your business to say, you know what? I don't feel like it. Guess what? You didn't sign up for that. This isn't about what you feel. This is about what you know to do, what you've trained yourself to do, your checklist that you've gone through, the, the, the stuff we've taught you, our 13-point checklist. You've come to the in-person workshop. You know what to do now, and now it's about doing it. And you know what? There, that, there's a bridge in life. Okay, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. On one side is what, Clay? Freedom. And the other side is what? Oh, man, you're, well, I mean, you, you're, your goals. You're, you're, you're over here. You say, I have the freedom to choose what I want to do. Okay. And over here are my goals. I got to get what, from. And what name are we going to get to that bridge? How do we go from, from over here, the goals, the big to idea. getting to our execution? To our, yes. The discipline. Ah. Oh. Discipline. So you mean to go from my goals yes. to execution? Yes. You mean, I'm wearing a shirt here that says freedom, discipline. You see that right there? Yes. You got to have that discipline. And discipline doesn't feel good. But I'm going to tell you what. If you were to go back in the day, John, John, John and I were just talking about this off the air this morning. I was going, hey, there's a lot of people that have taken three weeks off who can't afford to. They took three weeks off. They haven't built a big business yet. They're taking three weeks off for the holidays. Do you know what would have happened back in the day of the pilgrims or back in the agricultural society where people were growing crops or raising animals and food to feed themselves? They would wake up dead. If they didn't, yeah, if they was, didn't do their job for three up. weeks? It was it was serious. I mean, they had to be the pig at breakfast. Otherwise, they literally became the pig at breakfast. Now, Travis, we come back. John has to move on. He's going to be working with some in-person workshops right here. We have people that are kind of flying in early. He's working with them directly today. So he's going to be piecing out from the box that rocks. But when we come back, we're going to get into how to make a one sheet, which is a one sheet is how you clearly define you versus the other guys. It's an eight and a half by 11 print piece. It's a game changer, and it forces you to clarify and boil down your ideas to the most simplistic uh, way to describe things. It's called an elevator pitch or a one sheet. Elevator pitch? What? I don't, sheet? I'm confused. Is it just like a blank sheet of paper? I don't, I don't get it. It's I'm an so, elevator. That's an elevator. Which, I, which one is it? I was distracted. I was going to thrivetimeshow.com. Right now, how are you taking credit card payments for your business? It's never been faster or easier to begin taking credit card payments for your business than with Square. You know the little white square that plugs into your phone's headphone jack? It's awesome. This payment app is great for businesses such as food trucks, beauty salons, and retail shops. The users receive a small portable card reader that they can attach to a phone or other mobile device to take fast and convenient payments. The way it works is that it subtracts 2.75% of every time a card is run uh, and it does it automatically. So if you sell a sandwich for $20, you'll see a net gain of $19.45 in your bank account the next day. If you enter the card by hand, it costs 3.5% plus 15 cents on top of that. They encrypt everything so you know you're secure. They make it super clear to start and even offer bonuses for sharing with friends. So you can learn more at squareup.com. It's free to download and works on all devices and operating systems. So make sure that you go visit squareup.com. Live, local, now. You're listening to The Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. Welcome, Thrivers. Welcome, Thrivers. Welcome back to The Thrive Time Show, where we teach you how to build a thriving business. And I'm going to tell you why you're listening today. You're listening because you're somebody who's decided that this is going to be the best year of your the life. Best, 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 you realize that you could survive, but you've decided that this is going to be the year that you are going to thrive. You're saying, you know what? I am so tired of watching other people have success and sitting back and, and watching it. I'm so tired of watching shows made about other people 
I'm so tired of hearing of other people uh, achieving their dreams and goals, and me, I'm just watching my life go, go by. You're going, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I have decided that I am going to do something with it. And so you're going, I'm looking for some practical training. See, that's what they're doing. They're looking for some practical training. And you know what? You tuned in to the right show. Not only do we have the Thrive Time Show, which comes to you every day, noon to 2 on Talk Radio 1170, right here where you're listening to us, okay? Yeah. Not only do we have that, but then you can also, if you want more, I want more. I want I more. more. I'm a greedy guy. I, <laughs> a, you can go to Thrive15. Yes, that's T H R I V E 15.com. You can click, 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 click on there. And for a little, little measly amount, $19 a month, then you can binge watch. I call it the Netflix of Business School. Business School without the BS, by the way. You can watch that. And you think, I want more. I even want more than that. I do. Yeah. So if you want more than that, guess what? Now we've started and we've been running in person workshops. What does that mean? That means you can actually come to Tulsa or if you live in Tulsa, you can just come over here to the left coast of the Arkansas River, all right? And this big, beautiful um, Thrive15.com world headquarters. And for two days. Two days. 15 January 20th hours. And the 21st, we are going to teach you our 13-step proven system. We're going to teach you time management. We're going to teach you customer service. We're going to teach you everything you need to know to start or to grow that business, all right? And you might even say to yourself, you know what? I, I just need just a little bit more. What else do we have for them, Clay? Well, here's the thing. When you come to the workshops so many times on a practical level, you know, someone's talking about search engine optimization. And maybe you've never optimized a site before. I mean, you've never actually pulled up the back end of a website and, yeah. and, and messed with it. And so you have a question. And you're like, I, I just don't know uh, what to do. I didn't, didn't quite understand it. So what we do is we teach for 45 minutes. And then we break for 15 minutes, okay? And we do that throughout the day. And then at noon, I'm available to answer any business questions that you have. And so it's that in-person uh, experience. And then other people, they say, you know what? I loved what I learned today. And I I'd like to have more of that one-on-one -on -one mentorship on an ongoing basis. So I want someone who knows the way, who goes the way, who's done it. I kind of I tell people, it's like, if you, if Dr. Zellner, if you knew that Dr. Zellner had gotten to the top of the mountain that you want to get to, you look up and you say, I want to go up to the top of that mountain. Okay. He comes right. down and All says, right. guys, it was, it was hard doing it. Uh, we lost many people on the way. We, we, went, <laughs> we went the wrong way. We went the wrong way there. But here's the deal. On the way back down, I marked the path. And I know now what to do. I know how to get back up to the mountain. I know the path. I've marked it. And I'm telling you, I, I can 100% guarantee I can get you up there. I've done it. Uh, but whether you guys uh, want to go or not, I'm going back up there. So now you see him up at the top of the mountain, and he's up Woo! there I'm celebrating. I'm up at the top of the mountain having a You've party. You've already seen him up there. Woo! He's doing smoke signals. Party, he's got party, some party. sort of mountain camp new, going I just on. Finished up my New Year's party up here. Woo! And yeah. you're going, how did he get there? Well, and he comes back down about once a month. He comes back down and goes, hey guys, I, how are you guys doing? And you're like, where were you? I was up there at the top of the mountain. I was up there. At the and then eventually you're like, well. I want to do that. So now you get to follow them. That's what mentorship is. It's learning from mentors or mistakes, Z. Absolutely. And we choose to try to do mentoring instead of mistakes with you guys. Okay. Well, we're going to share our mistakes, our bonehead moves we've done. We've done plenty. And they're kind of fun when we talk about I love some of your bonehead moves. I have by one the way. right now that's really hot. <laughs> this is a hot one. It's pretty new, pretty fresh. I feel pretty good about it. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. So here's the thing we did about um, probably about three years ago. My brother-in-law, he owns, we, we started Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge together. All right. Okay. And Elephant in the Room. Wait, wait, wait. You were saying that, there, that men were unable to get haircuts in Tulsa? We, yeah, there was, there was actually, there was nobody filling that niche. There was nobody cutting hair. Men, men looked like yetis all over Tulsa. <laughs> You'll probably remember it was the dark ages of it's hair. Dark. Everyone had mullets. That's and, why. That, okay. That's why we I started. The market why. was okay. underserved. Uh, sports clips hadn't gotten here yet, supercuts. It was a vast wasteland of men's hair. No, there were a lot of Goliaths around. There was a there lot. There were a lot of them. So we move into the marketplace, and at the time, um, we knew that we were going to offer Edison bulbs, uh, historic barn wood, uh, modern rustic decor, paraffin hand dips, an adult beverage of choice. We're going to offer straight razor shaves. It's going to be like the ultimate man barber shop. It's going to be like a country club for men's hair. We knew that. <laughs> so people are coming in. And one thing my brother-in-law notices, and I notice, is a lot of the guys who came in are, are, are men who want to look their best. A lot of professionals come in there. Okay. And so the way it would work is their, their first haircut, it's a dollar. And then after that, we have a membership program. And so we thought, well, you know what? These guys are coming in. And a lot of the guys, I'm not kidding, probably one or two guys a day would ask, hey, do you guys know of a good place to get your shoes shined? Okay. And so I'm thinking, you know, maybe that's a thing. 
And so what we did sure. is uh, I uh, literally, uh, there's a guy, you probably know who he is. He's, he owns a thing called the Shoe Bus. Have you heard of the Shoe Bus guy? I've not heard of the Shoe Bus really? guy. Really? You've heard about this Tell guy? me about the Shoe you Bus guy. <laughs> there's a guy who calls himself the Shoe Bus guy. He's out there in Broken Arrow. And he goes to these outlet malls and he buys all of the inventory of, of Joseph A. Banks or the Johnston Murphy brand or the Cole Haan or these different you know companies. And he buys all the shoes. So I bought at one. I'm not kidding. I bought in one purchase. I bought about twenty thousand dollars of men's shoes. What? 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 I did. I bought about twenty thousand dollars of shoes because we had a lot of guys asking for you know where, where would you recommend I go to get my shoes? And so we, we brought them into the store and we began to sell the shoes and we sold out of the shoes. But the problem is we realized quickly, we're not a shoe business. We're not a shoe business. We got to stock them. We got to sort them. People want to try them on. Yeah. And then people wanted us to shine them. We're like, absolutely, we'll sign, shine them. Well, think about the logistics. You're coming in for a haircut. Okay, I'm coming. Do, do, and you're do, dropping do, do, off do, do. your shoes to be shined. Plop, plop. You're going to come back, like, what, tomorrow, the next day? Now you're going to have somebody whose full-time job is to shine your shoes, sort your shoes. And then, but when, then within like a couple of days, we had like, you know, hundreds of people getting their shoes shined. And we're going... I wonder if those are Dr. Z's shoes or Sam's shoes. Yeah, who's... Maybe funny. he'll know the difference. <laughs> so the guys would come in and not know the difference at sight. And it got a little crazy. So we realized, okay, we tested it at one store. We're not getting into the shoe business. We're going to focus. Even though men were asking for it, we're not going to shine shoes moving forward. We're just not going to do it. We're not going to sell shoes. So or you sign. turned business away. You said you were, you said, you know what? You want to give me money. Yeah. You want me to do this service. And I'm going to tell you no, because, because, because that's just crazy. Yeah. Because here's the thing was, we, we realized again, there's a little pyramid at the bottom. We start with the product. Uh, okay. Then we go to market. Back we go to, to sell. We do some sales. Then we got to get the feedback. Once you get the feedback, once you get it right, then you can move up to the top, which is self-actualization, meaning you can be the best you that you can be. But before you can do any of those things, you've got to ask yourself, how are you different than the competition? So I have a checklist here, Z. So what, what, hold on one second. Yeah, okay, this, yeah. Because sure. this is a big concept. I think a lot of business beginners kind of lose focus of, yeah. and that is their focus. In other mm. words, you pick your team and you stick with it. Oh, man. You know, you pick your item just like you did, men's grooming. Yep. All right, that's that's what we're going with. Okay. And if you'd added all these other things to it, yep. you wouldn't have been excellent and your focus would have been off men's grooming, and then you would have been this hodgepodge of whatever it was. Men's grooming and uh, uh, dog food. And uh, <laughs> you know, we do both. We do because we figured out most men actually uh, have, have a, a dog. Have a dog, and so they were asking if we could sell. Dogs. And they we, like bagels, which they, is why Oswald's Bagels is moving in as a partnership. And if they ask for it, then you know, my gosh, we got to give it to them. You that's just say the yes way. To that's everybody. just the way. That's the way. I'm. That's kind of businessman I am. Customers always right, even when I they mean, want dog food at the hair place. That's right, because right. you know they want to save a stop. You know, the now, here's Southern the deal. Ag on the way home. Thrivers, I'm going to tell you this: we're trying to save you a trip to, to Southern Ag. By, by educating you, because I'm, I'm telling you this, if you don't start to sell something with your business, you're going to find yourself eating dog food. Ooh. Walt Disney, you know he ate dog food. At the low point of his career, he was eating dog food. True story. Look well, I mean, apparently you will survive. You can survive. Now, Thrivers, when we come back, we're going to get into the final steps about how to differentiate yourself in a crowded marketplace. Thrivetimeshow.com. Are you looking to start or grow business? then you are definitely going to have problems and questions along the way. You will find the answers to all of your business questions at thrive15.com. Thrive15.com provides online video-based business training taught by millionaires and successful entrepreneurs for less than a dollar per day. That's less than your daily coffee budget. It's no classrooms, no get rich quick seminars. These are trainings broken into 15 minute segments that get you the answers that you need. It's business school without the BS. I dare you to try a seven day free trial. Simply go to thrive15.com and the first 100 people will also receive a free downloadable for how to optimize your website. So stop wasting your time and money. Go to thrive15.com and get your business questions answered now. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back into the conversation about how to market your business all across this nation. And knock, knock at the door. Who is it? Who is it? It's the exquisite. 
the wonderful, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Tim Redmond is joining well. us inside the box. Oh, my lost. gosh. I've been invited by these two stud muffins. This is awesome. Stud muffins? I thought he was a stud bagel. I it's thought you bagels. Oswald's bagels. Oswald's no one ever gets it right, I swear. I've been yelling it into a megaphone for years. That's hey, my primary form of marketing. It's the non-Jewish style, okay? What can I say? Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, every now and then in life, you see a unicorn, and you think, wow, they're winning a unicorn. And then every now and then, you capture a unicorn. Bring it in. And you bring it into the box at Rocks. And that's what we just did. I saw him earlier. He snuck by. Yep. He's here at the Thrive 15 headquarters, probably you know, lecturing or pontificating. We, or, we are working with clients. We are doing calisthenics, getting these businesses in shape. That's what I'm saying. So he walks by. I go, oh, my gosh, there's a unicorn. There's Tim Redmond. It's of the Redmond famed Unicorn he's Academy. He's booked hour after hour with business coaching, so it's rare that you get a chance to uh, to, to talk to the guy in, in person. Tim, what, Tim, what's your website? For people who don't know who you are, where, where can they find more information about you? Tim is a stud muffin. Dot com. No, don't no. go to that website. That site. That's not been actually, approved. Actually, it's not. It's redmondgrowth.com. Redmondgrowth.com. Oh. I'm going to brag on Tim. Tim was a member of a team that they grew a business from two people to over 450 people before they sold that thing to TurboTax. And uh, you have 450 people. You grow from two people to 450. You're doing something right. And one of the things they did right was marketing, differentiating themselves in a crowded marketplace. Rumor has it that you got a job there and that you kind of just squirreled your way in, that you really did not have the qualifications. You really <laughs> shouldn't have been there. Okay. Now, I've got a question. Where did Tim actually interview you? He no. Was so he was high no, up. No, the, he was high up. He's he was up two, at the top. You know, yeah, he was there. the tower. Here's the deal. Okay, Probably this, looking around at the minions the like this, looking to down. Make, to make a short story long, Thrivers. Okay, here's what happened is I am over there at Target. I'm just reading some Napoleon Hill and I'm talking I'm, I'm learning about over delivering for the first time where you're supposed to exceed the expectations of every person you come in contact with. So I'm like the electronics guy. So guys are coming in asking for Michael Bolton holiday albums and what's a good <laughs> tape recorder? What's a good camera? What's a good and one guy Todd Starkey walks in and he says, hey, I'm looking for a video camera for my wife. Uh, you know, can you point me in the right direction? I walk over there, and I'd been studying all the model numbers. I knew everything about oh, these cameras. Yeah. And I said, hey, based on your needs, you want this camera and not this camera. And I'll never forget, he looks at me, and he goes, why? And I go, well, you can save you money, and it's more efficient for your needs. You don't need all these other features. It'll be better for your family. And he goes, how come you know all this? And I'm like, I've been reading all the manuals. He's like, why? And I was like, ah, I'm trying to over deliver. I'm reading this book, Think and Grow Rich. I'm starting well, I got to do something while I'm eating all the hot pretzels over here in the other segment of the that store. Was right, that was right before I made the, this. is right after I made the change, seriously. And I, so I, 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 I used to be like the pretzel eater guy who was absent minded <laughs> at work. And so he goes, well, you know, we're hiring. And I said, what are you hiring? He goes, well, we're hiring interns. Um, you don't happen to, you're not studying accounting in college, are you? And I'm like, Yes, I am. Yes, I it just happened to be. <laughs> I have heard of that word, I think, is really the yeah. reality of it. Right? So I find myself booked on interview and uh, oh, yeah. there for the interview, just kind of weasel my way in. Next thing I know, I'm there working full time at Tax and Accounting Software where Tim's the man working in the ivory tower of power. And my direct boss was Todd Starkey. And I think Steve Heck was my yeah. super, super boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. St Todd Starkey, he is, the, he is the customer service legend. Oh. He had a guy, he had a guy, talking about marketing, yeah. you market through the stories of delivery of service. Todd Starkey had a guy that would not be satisfied unless he came up to meet him, to talk to him at midnight. He snuck in, Todd snuck in, served this guy at midnight, and made him a, a client for life. Really? Yeah. So Todd Starkey is sort of a, a legend of customer service. He was a stud muffin. That's kind of like, that, like that commercial on TV now. It's like, what was he wearing? I think khakis. Well, she sounds horrible. He's, he's a dude. It's like two in the morning, answer the phone. It's like the same thing. Your Starkey story. No, you know, it's customer a Starkey service. story. Starkey story. Now, I'm going to tell you this, Thrivers. Now, here's the deal. We're talking about how to differentiate your business. We're talking about how to make a one sheet, okay? So here's what you do. On one side, you make three columns as the preferred method. A lot All right, of clients wait, 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 hold on. Let me, get my sheet. Let me get out my sheet of paper here. Come you on. you got three columns, okay? Three columns. On the left column, you put your business, okay? My business. In the middle column, you put the other guys. Other guys. And the far right column, you put the other other guys. Oh, the other other guys. So okay. the best, best example, if you go into Google right now and you type in transparency southwest and then click on Google images. So click on Google search. You know, okay. Okay. Type in transparency images there, southwest. You'll see Southwest Airlines is comparing themselves right now to American, to Delta, and United. And they are showing straight up how they compete on every area. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show on Talk Radio 1170. And the three areas you want to compete on are price, product, and people. 
Price product. What are those? All three start with P. Uh, well, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was going to be Paul and Kevin and Arnold, but we had to change it to make the 3P thing work. But anyway, ah. so here's the thing is, <laughs> but, but price, people, and product. So how's your product different? How is your pricing different? How are your people or your customer service different? So, Tim, I want to ask you, over at Tax and Accounting, uh, tax and accounting software back in the day when your office there from the Cityplex Tower. Yes. But near near ORU, what made your product different from the other guys? We were the first in the industry to invent a repackaging of everything we offered. Mm. All in one package. One package. It wasn't 20 decisions. It wasn't 50 decisions. It was one simple decision. The less decisions you can get somebody to make, the easier it is to sell them. Now, Z, I want to ask you, Very cool. once, once you begin to differentiate yourself, you got to move into this final move, which you got to make a no-brainer offer. You've got to have an offer where somebody who's skeptical goes, you know what, I'll go ahead and give it a whirl. Absolutely. You, If you're called to action, in other words, you're out there spending your, your money, you are advertising, you're getting your message out there. Now, you've, you've developed your message, you've developed your logo, we've already, we've already worked on all that, okay? Mm. And if you've missed some of those shows, thrivetimeshow.com, you can check them out. You can go to thrive15.com. You can come to our in-person workshop January 2021st. You can get one-on-one -on -one business coaching. So we're, we're there now. So you're spending your hard-earned money. And if you don't make them an offer that is so compelling that they just have to they have to, to go, if I don't get in there today, I might die kind of offer, then you're kind of wasting some of your money. And here, I love it. Here's yeah. an example of a no-brainer <laughs> offer with music. In there. I want everyone, if you're listening right now, I want you to go ahead and get out, get out a sheet of paper and write down where where you were when this song came out because i want you to email me info at thrive15.com where you were when this song or what what, what, what age you were dj where, clay here we go here we go how was it? This. do you remember this crazy song you remember oh, how yeah. like you couldn't re you couldn't resist it oh, you, you had to you couldn't touch it and you got the hammer pants on oh yeah the hammer oh yeah and, and everybody everyone was ha it was hammer time it was, it was always hammer time backpacks remember backpacks oh, yeah. hammer time backpacks. The little shuffle yeah you, you do got a little buttons. shuffle buttons i mean he was on tv he was on the radio he couldn't get away from the guy he was everywhere it was like you couldn't escape the gravitational pull of MC Hammer, he was a no-brainer. It was Hammer Time, baby. And the song, if you listen to it, was also a no-brainer. There's probably no brain that was involved in making that song. <laughs> <laughs> but they just took a Rick James song and redid it, and yeah. all of a sudden it was like, there it is. He oh, found oh, a parade oh, and oh, he got in oh, front oh. of it, and there's nothing wrong listen with to, that. Listen to the lyrical. So hard, makes me say, oh, my Lord, oh, wow. He's like a modern philosopher. He, it's deep. It's very, very deep. Here we go. We're almost... Here we go. Everybody, everybody with me. You can't touch. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Now, Thrivers, listen to this. If you're, if you're saying, I do want to make a no-brainer. I do want to differentiate my business. I do want to sell something. I realize that I'm not in business until I sell something, and I've just been held accountable by myself. I realize I need to learn to sell something. I need to learn to market. I need to learn customer service. I need to learn leadership. Dr. Z, where can they? Where, where should they go? What do they need to do right now? Or I tell you what, you might still be confused by the term purple cow. You may be sitting there eating, you know, your Oklahoma Joe's burnt ends and baked beans and going, I still want to tell. That was a Is great Prince song, purple, purple cow. cow? <laughs> I think it was Purple Rain. Purple you, I cow. Think. Purple, purple cow. cow. If, if, if you're saying, listen, I break it. I need to break it down, guys. Listen, I need to just, you know, you lost me on Purple Cow. I mean, listen, folks, we break it down for you, all right? And with our in-person workshop, you're going to have 15 hours of excellence. We're going to teach you all the moves all to do. All the moves. January 20 and 21st, go to thrivetimeshow.com. Click, 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 click. Click on the button that says, tell me more about the workshop. Click. And then it has all the details, all the information you need. And if, there, if you could come up with some random question we didn't ask that, just you can email us or you can even call us. We and actually have people answering the phones. It's crazy. And here's what else Thrivers is amazing is that when you come to the workshop, some of you are going to go, you know what? I want to come out next month. And we have ongoing workshops. But the thing is, this workshop here, the two-day is so intense. It's two day. It's intensive. We get into all. We dig down deep into all the issues. And if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, you can see the agenda. We teach time management. Okay, we're going to teach accounting, personal finance. It's all there. And if you want one on one coaching, we can do that too. Or see for nineteen bucks a month, just nineteen bucks a month, they have access to what? 
they have access to all the business mentoring and coaching you could ever want. We've done the hard work. We've gone around the country and we have gotten the best and the brightest minds in all the different categories of business that we train on, okay? Then we film them and we've made it fun. Yes, you know, we like to have a little fun. I don't want to have Sorry, fun. Don't I like shoot to be us. serious okay. all the time, Dr. Z. That's not good. And we've made it affordable $19 a month. And we even have scholarships on top of that. You say, I can't even afford that. We've even got scholarships on top of that. When you get one, we're going to give a free one to a military personnel. Thrive15.com. Business school in your pocket. Whip it out whenever you want. Bam, bam, bam. It's business school without the BS. And I'm telling you what, Thrivers, you are going to want to join us at the two day, 15 hours of power, thrivetimeshow.com workshops. Z, as always, three, three two, two, one, boom. boom.